Hello, I'm Jenny, virtual presenter of Canal Innova Plus. Innova Plus News, MCTI and Embrapii is on the air, bringing posts available on the internet between October 18 and 20, 2023. But, before you start, be sure to subscribe to our channel, here on YouTube. It's fast and free. Oh, you're already subscribed, so, thank you so much for your support. Take advantage and press the notification bell to stay up to date with the news of the channel and also like and share the videos you like on your social networks. Help us reach the 1000 subscriber mark. Let's get to today's posts. First block, MCTI. News number 1, MCTI, October 20, 2023, Connect a Startup Program is awarded in the 100 Open Startup Ranking. Connect a Startup Brazil was ranked among the 10 best ecosystems in the 100 Open Startups Ranking, one of the main open innovation rankings in Latin America. The ranking, published since 2016, aims to promote and measure the evolution of open innovation in Brazil and Latin America. Connect a Startup is a program that aims to increase the number of national startups by connecting ideas and market demands. It is a partnership between MCTI, ABDI, Softex, and CNPQ. The program focuses on early-stage startups, encouraging innovative entrepreneurship across the country and solving market demands. The ranking aims to promote open innovation in Brazil and Latin America. News number 2, MCTI, October 20, 2023, Portuguese and French-speaking countries debate NDC progression. Brazil participated in technical discussions with connection centers of Latin American and French countries in Istanbul, Turkey, on the progress of the National Contribution Determination, NDC, under the Paris Agreement. The workshop focused on measures for better implementation of the Paris Agreement rules on critical aspects of NDC progress, such as mitigation measures, adaptation methods, and implementation methods. The meeting allowed the sharing of good practices and experiences in the use of the available tools and the preparation of the technical areas to identify risks and challenges. Brazil will report on the progress of the NDC in the fifth National Communication Reports and Transparency Biennials by December 2024. NDCs are considered key instruments for verifying international commitments, including reducing emissions, adapting to the impacts of climate change, and short- and medium-term targets. The next round of NDC evaluation is scheduled for 2025, based on the Paris Agreement reports. The Lusophone NDC mobilizes nine Portuguese-speaking communities to promote intercultural exchange and strengthen information and transparency obligations. News number 3, MCTI, October 20, 2023, IBIC launches publishing house at the 20th National Week of Science and Technology. The Brazilian Institute of Information and Technology, IBIC, a research unit linked to the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovations, launched IBIC Editora, responsible for scientific publications. The event took place on September 20, at the Ulysses Guimarães Convention Center, in Brasilia. Editora IBIC, which has been producing information since 1954, is a strong publisher in the area. The institute was created by the UN to create a global model for organizing information, and Brazil was the first country to create and distribute this format. The IBIC 70 Years SEAL event will start on September 20 and continue until the 21st National Week of Science and Technology, in 2024. News number 4, MCTI, October 20, 2023, students receive medals from the Asteroid Hunt Program and Scientific Olympiads. More than 300 students and teachers received 20 medals from the Asteroid Hunt Program and the National Science Olympiad, ONC, of the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MCTI, during the 20th National Week of Science and Technology, in Brasilia. The event, organized by the Ministry of Science, Technology and Innovation, MCTI, was attended by parents and teachers. The winners were Joao Victor Candido, a 7th grade student at Colegio Mila de Tiradentes, and Guilherme Costa Souza, a 9th grade student at CEF Polyvalent. Soraya Serino, a 57-year-old teacher from São Bernardo do Campo, expressed her passion for astronomy and the program. The event was organized by the Federal University of Piauí UFPI, and the Government of the Federal District GDF. The 20th National Week of Science and Technology continues until Sunday, 22, at the Ulysses Guimarães Center, in Brasilia and throughout the country. Second Block, Embrapii. News number 5, Embrapii, October 18, 2023, Industry of the Future, Embrapii announces 60 Brazilian reals million for quantum technologies. Sinai Cimitec, a Brazilian institution of education, science, technology and innovation, was selected as the Embrapii Competence Center in Quantum Technologies. The initiative aims to develop knowledge and new technologies in the field of quantum technologies, which will help society solve complex problems through new forms of computing, communication, and sensors. The investment of 60 million Brazilian reals will be used for the creation of the center, which will focus on data communication, data security and quantum computing. The contract will last for 42 months and will involve research and development activities, training and capacity building for HR activities, and the creation of an open environment for startups. 
The center will also focus on quantum communication and quantum computing with new algorithms and hardware systems. The initiative is in line with Embrapi's commitment to decentralize innovation in Brazil. News number 6, Embrapi, October 18, 2023, Embrapi doubles investment in innovation when it completes 10 years. Brazilian company Embrapi recorded a record investment of BRL 862.7 million in 2023 to promote innovation, marking an increase of 92.7% compared to the same period in 2022. The investment was boosted by an announcement of 375 million Brazilian reals for the Embrapi centers, which will research frontier technologies and build knowledge. The goal is to put Brazil on the map of this new innovation ecosystem and put the country at the forefront of research. The Embrapi centers will operate in several areas, such as 5G and 6G connectivity, advanced therapies, virtual worlds, quantum technologies, and cybersecurity. The initiative will be developed in partnership with renowned research centers of excellence in Brazil. The Embrapi network has seen a steady increase in projects and investments in industrial innovation, reaching more than 2.5 million contracts and 3.2 billion Brazilian reals in investments. News number 7, Comunica.ufu.br, October 19, 2023, Embrapi Femex slash UFU unit expands partnership with industries and exceeds resource target. The University of Uberlandia, UFU, has secured three new contracts with national and international reference industries, resulting in nine new projects in post-development and innovation, RDNI, projects. This represents more than 7 million Brazilian reals in investments between industry, labor and the Brazilian Agency for Research and Innovation, Embrapi. Embrapi Femex slash UFU is composed of two laboratories, the Friction and Wear Technology Laboratory, LTAD, and the Center for Research and Development of Welding Processes, Laprasolda, located at UFU Santa Monica campus. The research and teaching teams intend to reach 100 million Brazilian reals in RDNI by 2025. The units have also participated in international congresses, presenting their work and collaborating with international universities. The research and teaching work contributes to the knowledge provided to students in the classroom, as well as the scientific initiative in graduate studies. News number 8, Journal Dia Dia, October 20, 2023, partnership between Embrapi and Israel creates a solution for monitoring thermal energy in the industry. A new technology developed by the Embrapi 30 unit has the potential to revolutionize the food and construction industries. The facility, in collaboration with the Israel Innovation Authority, has developed a new system for monitoring operating parameters of a thermal storage system and industrial production processes. The software, developed by the Embrapi 30 Foundation, was developed to reduce the production costs of a Brazilian company, Fortlev, which produces plastic components, including water bottles. The company chose to use rotational molding, an industrial technology for molding large diameter thermoplastics, to ensure minimal temperature variation. The project, which had the technical participation of Bren Miller Energy, is currently installed in one of the company's factories in Annapolis.